Let's see. The solution query for this question. Create table employee with columns employee ID, which is a primary key, employee name, location, and manager ID. Then insert values into employee table with values. Here we inserted five values with ID, name, location with their manager ID. Inserted five IDs, where Alice don't have manager, represented as null. Okay, now use join to retrieve manager name. Join the table with itself using alias name E1 and E2. Every employee may have a manager ID that points to another employee ID in the same table. Then retrieve ID, name, location of employee, and also ID and name of the manager of E2 employee table, which refers to manager. Now, run the queries one by one. First create table, then insert values inside the employee table. Use select query to check the inserted records. It shows all the five inserted records. Then check the join query. Here, we can see that employee two is reporting to manager ID one, that is Alice. Similarly, three also reporting to Alice, where four and five are reporting to Bob. Here, note employee ID one, that is Alice, is not reporting to anyone as it holds null value. Subscribe to .NET Core Insights if you like this video.